Welcome to this product demonstration termination video of a Category 6 unshielded field terminable plug. When you receive your connectors, they'll be individually packaged with a complete bill of materials. You pull this perforated side and dump out your contents. You'll have an instruction sheet. You'll have a connector body, a boot, a twist cable zip tie, and a load bar. One difference on the instructions that I do for this is I strip my cable 2 inches instead of 1.2 inches. But the first step with these field terminal plugs is to size your boot correctly to the cable. So I'm going to take my cable, which is a Category 6 unshielded cable, and if the cable doesn't fit in the boot, then I need to trim it. So I'm going to take the boot and put it on there upside down, and where the cable stops, I'm going to go ahead and trim off that part of the boot. There's little sidebars here just for that purpose. You take a pair of standard diagonal nippers and go ahead and... Now you can turn around and slide your boot up the cable. I'm going to strip the cable two inches using a standard cigar cutter style cable. I'm going to use the min spin direction because I don't want to cut into my conductors. Pop off my jacket. Cables are going to have a rip cord on them, made of nylon. You want to go ahead and trim that off. Now I'm going to remove the separator in the middle, call that the spline. Pull my conductor pairs off to the sides. I'm going to cut the spline off by going ahead and on each of these individual flutes, I'm going to go ahead and use the flush side and cut it in at a 45 degree angle. Be careful not to cut my conductors. Give it a quick spin, it comes off. The reason why is you want to, nothing sticking out the side here. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my conductors up in the right color code for this load bar. So with this particular connector, I do have to untwist these. This is usually the longest part of the whole operation is untwisting them. You want to kind of straighten out the convolutions a little bit. It doesn't have to be really straight, but at least get them somewhat smooth. So you're going to go ahead and load your conductors in here according to the color code. The top portion here is marked by this little arrow. is going to show you the color code for 568B for that particular one. I've got white, brown, brown, and I've got green, white, green. So I want to set my color code up according to that. And what you want to do is once you get your colors lined up in the right color code, Go ahead and trim them off nice and flush. And then you can load them into the bar. Tuck it down as far as it'll go. You might have to twist it a little bit to allow for the other conductors to actually sit in place. Get your pairs of the other conductors in the right location and then lay these into those upper slots. It will hold the wires actually, so you can get them lined up and secure them. Once you have those in place, then you can go ahead and trim off your extra conductors. You want to use the flush side of the diagonal cutters and trim each one right level at the top of the conductor. Now at this point, you can remove this label or you can leave it on. If you're going to be re-terminating this connector, you might want to leave it on for future reference, but otherwise you can go ahead and pull it off. I am going to pull it off for this purpose here. The connector body itself you have the IDC tabs here, and you can see the slots into the load bar here. I'm going to flip this upside down and lay it into that so the slots line up. You'll actually feel when they line up, it'll, it'll seat a little bit. So once you get your conductors lined up on the IDC tabs, you can go ahead and close your connector. It takes a little bit of force to close it. Once it's closed, then you can use the cable zip tie to complete the operation. Get it started on the cable and just pull it up and hand tighten it. Trim off your excess. At this point, your zip tie is in place. You can slide your boot up. You have a hump on top of the connector and you have a little hump rounded portion on top of the boot. You want to line those up together, close it together, and then uh, the connector is complete now and terminated. This black cover on the front is just a protective cap for your RJ45. One advantage of this particular connector is it can handle very large size cables, so you can do unshielded Category 6A with it, you can do unshielded Category 6 cables with it, and it is field terminable, so it can be re-terminated up to five times.